Language 6. Sentences and Fragments. Objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to distinguish sentences from fragments. Enumerate the different ways of correcting a fragment. And revise fragments into clear and coherent sentences. Read the following group of words while waiting for you. Oranges and bananas inside the refrigerator. Seated on the bench. What have you noticed? Correct. They do not express a complete thought. How about these? The children are flying kites. The books are on sale. Carla washes the dishes. What have you noticed? Very good. These group of words have complete meaning. Sentences and fragments. Today's lesson is about the difference between a sentence and a fragment. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that begins with a capital letter and ends with an appropriate punctuation mark. A complete sentence has a subject, a predicate, and a complete thought or idea. Examples My siblings often water the plants in the garden. Who water the plants often? My siblings what do my siblings do? They water the plants often. Obviously, this is an example of a sentence. For it has a complete thought. The tourists take pictures of the place. Who are the subjects? The tourists. What is the predicate in the sentence? Take pictures of the place. The example has a subject, a predicate, and a complete thought. Therefore, it is a sentence. Here are other examples. Maria baked some cookies. The known philanthropist distributed relief goods to the typhoon victims. Now, look at the following group of words, and analyze them. Amelia and Arsenia. What happened to Amelia and Arsenia? What did they do? Nothing is indicated. My most embarrassing moment. Does this group of words indicate or mention the most embarrassing moment of the speaker? No. When you knocked on the door. What happened when you knocked on the door? Nothing. Enter the hall a while ago. Who entered the hall? No one. What have you noticed with the given groups of words? Correct. They do not express a complete thought. Hence, we call them fragments. Fragments are incomplete sentences. They may lack a subject, a predicate, or an independent clause. Revising a fragment There are different ways on how to turn a fragment into a complete sentence. Take note and understand the following important points. First, you can make a fragment into a sentence by adding a predicate. A predicate tells something about the subject. Example To the fragment, Amelia and Arsenia. Add the predicate, manage their own businesses. So Amelia and Arsenia, manage their own businesses, is now a sentence. The second way is by adding a subject. A subject is the one being talked about in the sentence. Example. To the fragment, enter the hall a while ago. Add the children. So, the the children entered the hall a while ago, is now a sentence. 
The third way is by adding an independent clause. An independent clause is a group of words that has a complete thought and can stand alone. When you knocked on the door, is a dependent clause. It has a subject, and a predicate, but does not express a complete thought. So, to make it a sentence. Add the independent clause, I was in the bathroom. It now reads, I was in the bathroom when you knocked on the door. I was in the bathroom when you knocked on the door, is now a sentence. Remember. A sentence is a group of words that has a subject, predicate, and a complete thought or idea. Fragment is an incomplete sentence. Practice time. Identify the following as sentence, or fragment. Punctuation marks have been intentionally omitted. Climb the mountain. Fragment. Send me. Fragment. She posted the pictures. Sentence. Mary laughed. Sentence. Stand. Sentence. In some sentences, like number 5, the subject is understood to be, you. It means, that when the subject is hidden, what remains is just the predicate. This is evident in an imperative sentence. An imperative sentence states a command or a request. That ends our lesson. Good luck.